Wilkins. That's meant for Johnston. And he's done it. Oh, what a superb goal. That was a magnificent pass from Wilkins. It really was. It really was superb. Watch it. It went all the way through. Johnson onside. Brought it down. Never an easy chance, but he made it look so. That's the expected cross. Butcher is up, and he's good. Now, watch the way he came in for it. Impeccable timing, but a lot of determination as well. Now, here's Johnson with a chance. Here's McCoy's. He must score. He's done it. supporters and hasn't he enjoyed that one well McCoy certainly had the opportunity laid right on a plate by him by Johnson and he took it with the greatest of ease three nothing and just a few seconds remaining and there goes the final whistle the opening goal was a thing of magic the ball swept forward 30 yards past right to the foot of Johnson and Johnson had the ball nestling in the net after gathering it. But the day is all about Ray Wilkins. Ray Wilkins could not hide his emotions as he walked off the Ibrox pitch for the last time as a Rangers player to return to his native London. His contribution had been immense. As much in the dressing room as on the pitch, without taking anything away from Razor, maybe more in the dressing room than what we're getting on the pitch from him. Um, he was well respected. The players looked up to him the same way as, as they do Terry Butcher. Um, Richard Goff, an experienced player. And um, he would, it was a loss, but in, in Nigel, and again, with all due respect to, to, to Wee Ray, I feel that Nigel gives us a better balance with other players we have on the team. You know, he's more of a working player. Um, Razor was a, a playmaker who relied on workers around him. And I think Nigel comes in and compliments Trevor and Mark. Um, and who else plays in there?